Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and we are back with some more EU4 as air. We are nearing the end of the game, and we're basically just looking for fun things to do with the fat, the last little bits over here. And um, I'm thinking I might just go after revolutionary France. They're currently being destroyed by Great Britain. They've got no allies in particular, as far as I can tell. I don't think they were in a coalition against me. Nope, nope, everything's fine over here. I mean, this will probably give us a fair bit of aggressive expansion, but we'll see um, what we can do over there. Ferrara, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, Relationship-wise, yeah, it's fine. We're going to wait for that royal marriage with Kilwa mostly to go away. The Austrian alliance, I think, is still going to be very handy. We can recall you. Lossat CB can use Propagate Religion in this trade node. Very handy little notice about that, actually. That is incredibly useful. I'm moving a bunch of troops up here to be next to France, and we'll probably just go ahead and pull the trigger on that. Uh, we've got a bunch of heavies kicking around. I don't expect France to have much of a navy left after fighting Great Britain. Um, I might go and just like park myself in the Straits of Dover over here. Now, there might be some interesting tricks that could be done with vassalizing or something. Probably not because of the size, but like to bring us into the war against Great Britain without triggering the Ottomans. It would be nice to do something like that. I'm not sure if it's gonna be an option. I don't know why things are being so chunky here. I mean, I guess we did just start a new year, but no, there's something super laggy going on. What? What is that? Hold on. Let me double check that there's nothing weird running on my computer. Uh, CPU, it's all just EU4. Memory, yeah. Disk activity, nothing. Huh. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just because we're moving so many different units around. They're all pathfinding. That that might be it. Because I was still building some dudes and things like that. But you see how it keeps, like, pausing there? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, let's just let's just go ahead and, and, and try to make our way through it. And hope that it's just because we're mass moving tons of units or some damn thing. I don't know. It might be recalculating some war goals. I mean, Great Britain is still sieging out stuff over here. It does suck that Sweden is a junior partner of Great Britain. That is not going to make some things easy. I mean, France is almost 100% consumed at this point. Seriously, this is really weird. Hmm. I'm hoping it goes away. Actually, it seems... No. It's every few days. See that? Every five days? Yep. Every five or six days, depending on things. Oh, no, that one came a little early. What the hell? Oh, okay. Crushed the revolution. So they're no longer a revolution. So that was the CB that Great Britain used. So they didn't actually consume anything. But we can go right away into an imperialist CB. We could bring in Austria. I don't see why we'd bother cashing in some of our Austrian favors. Plus, they would probably siege some stuff on their behalf. Um, no, we'll just go right away. I mean, other than their colonies, they ain't got nothing on us. Let's so move in on Paris. We'll uh, actually let me switch to the fort map mode right away. Make it easier for us to see things. You're going to go there. Uh, you can't reach there. That's too bad. I thought that might be the case. Um, is that it, real though? Just these four forts, and we're going to start sieging three of them instantly. All right, that is acceptable. Um, how many cannons you got? 20,000. Oh, it's just a level one fort. Yeah, it's nothing. Jeez. Okay, why don't you go and besiege back there? You'll move in here and here, and you're moving to that fort, which is fine. Oh, you're sitting over here. You go there, and... They will move your extra cans over that way, and you go over here. So we should be able to just walk right over France. Uh, and yeah, we can call in Austria, but we're not gonna. We might want to save them something else. Ferrara, Ottoman... Oh, the so discontent went away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, split you and do one of those, and some of that. Group you up, because why not? CB against Sweden... Sieges, occupations, siege of Paris is done. Just, I mean, they should have no standing troops, so we could probably go to an instant carpet siege of like their entire nation. You go there. You're gonna go there again. It's really hard to see the stripey bits because we have such similar colors, which is kind of annoying. Oh, you can go right over here. Level two fort. Safi theologians. Legalism. Da 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 da. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be great. The easiest war of the entire series. 
And Great Britain's like, yeah, well, we can't, we crushed the revolution. And this was the source of the revolution. So it'll, I, I, I don't know those revolutionary mechanics very much because I haven't played that many games that go this late into things, but I'm assuming it stops some of the spread of some of those dangerous ideas and that's the incentive, but Great Britain really should have gone for imperialism. Uh, Siege of New Net, da 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 da. So, is that all the forts? Oh, we still have to do this one, right, but basically, yeah. Split, split, split. You're gonna go there. You can go up over here. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. Okay. Uh, oh, you're, you're just standing around as well. God damn, this is going fast. Woo! Oh, oh, Great Britain did take some stuff. They did take some land. Okay, but part, I guess they, they, they broke the revolution and took some territory with the extra war score. Yeah, that, all right, that's pretty legit. Can I go there? No. Uh, trade protection, CB, and Great Britain. Sure, sure, sure. Any chance the Ottomans are getting busy in anything? Well, they are in a war against, oh, Ethiopia is not gonna stop them from, <sighs> from jumping in on some of the other stuff. I don't know, at some point we probably have to start some crap with them and wrap that all up, but let's see. Done, 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 done. There will be Blood Hormuz attacking the Mamluks. All the Mamluks. Everyone's just taking their turn. Uh, you've done that, so we just have to go to Provence. We're at 51%. Oh, right, because all their colonial holdings. Hmm. Now, we can't separate piece out their colonies, which is kind of annoying. Now... Where's their stuff? Here, 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 here. Right, some bits over there. Actually would be nice. Do you have any forts over here? No? So I can take you as part of the peace deal. And that might be handy. I mean, we're friends with Gujarat. Like, I might want to just take this province, because then we can cut across. Just have a little base over there. It's probably not going to cost us very much at all. Now, we're at 53%. There will be ticking war score as well, which is going to make a thing. And once the length of war modifier goes away, we should be able to get lots out of the peace deal without going overseas. That being said, maybe we do. Are these revolutionaries? They are. Don't know if they'll cross into any of this territory or do anything of that nature. I'm not sure. Um, my transports are still being built up. 27. We still have a bunch in the construction queue because I think I got them up to about 50. We had to rebuild them after things. Um, so it might be a little awkward to transport some people over, but not impossible. What I probably want to do just for safety is bring my heavies over here. I'll just merge up with the transport fleet and then maybe go and pick up some people. Probably drop some of my forts. Well, I have to worry about the New World colonies doing some stuff. Okay, it looks to me like this is all done fully getting sieged up. So I'm going to take everyone and I'm going to move you all to, um, say here. And we'll be doing a lot of like... Merge together, then split up to rebalance kind of thing. Brunei, trade protection CBs. I really don't care about the trade protection CBs. I should probably just get rid of those notices completely. Hormuz declares war on the Mamluks, as expected. Oh, it's a nationalism CB. Interesting. I was just expecting more imperialism, but no, no, no. Uh, merge, split, go there. Split, go there, and there. Still have some more troops coming, but that's okay. And split and do that. Merge up, split, and go down over here. Actually, you go there, you go there, and we can reassign some of these leaders here. And you here, just to try to bring on the attrition attack. Not, not quite. Get you over to the coast, you'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's fully held up. And yeah, maybe, depending on how many transports we get, we could consider going overseas. It's too bad none of it's contiguous with fire. We could just get a bunch of expansion up here. It'd still be nice for trade. We're gonna go through the... Um, we're gonna be coring a bunch of stuff in a second here, so let's hold off on those ideas. So 62%. So it's still climbing, the war score. But also, and probably more importantly, is the length of war modifier. Minus 39 is gonna make it a little harder to negotiate. I think it might be worth looking to grab some territory over here if we can and if we just grab uh, at the very least madura we may want to just go ahead and grab like as much of the state so one little state chunk over here and then we've got that there's there's gonna be some some potency in doing that all kinds of trade um aspects and things like that it'll be good um we've got our territory over here i mean let's just get baron over here like again they're not going to accept it. we can start planning some stuff we'll see where we go from there 
Of course, 10 minutes into our recording, the phone rings and I want to answer it right away because like, it's like, oh, maybe it's important, but I'm not going to stop now. If I was two minutes into the recording, I would stop and restart it. Very awkward time for a phone call. Come on, people. No respect. No respect for the recording process. And Cumbria. Oh, right, because I did build a few extra troops over here. Okay, supply in Ayrshire is going to be better, so we'll do that. And then, yeah, you were over here. I was just I was just rounding up the front lines of these guys and hoping the attrition wouldn't be a problem. Next military tech level, it does come with a plus 50% boost to um, supply limits. So that's when we can have, like, much larger single standing armies. Are you really? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Done, done, done. That should get rid of the attrition. So transports ran up to 29. The heavies did get here as well. We could consider bringing some things over. I think, I mean, we're going to have to. Unless we're willing to wait a really long time for this piece to happen. The ish. Sure. We'll have to bring some dudes over. All right. It's only maybe 29 at a time, which is probably okay. I don't know. That's not a huge number. Nah, it'll be okay. Plus, I think that one will make 30. I'll just let it arrive, and then we'll move out together. So we'll hold off on the Indian ideas. Although, honestly, we might, at this point, we might be waiting for the war a little bit. Um, I did consider starting the war taxes, but I think I'd rather... I mean, it's not much military power, admittedly. And we are ahead of time, but I think I would rather just save the military power right now. We're still making money while at war. We're actually making ludicrous amounts of money while at war, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, so I guess if we're going to be moving people in groups of 30, like, do we want to somehow, like, tune the first stack somehow? I don't know if there's a real optimal thing. I don't, I don't think it's going to matter. We do want to make sure there's not too many cannons to go through on the first chunk. So actually, okay, maybe it, it does make sense. We'll send, um, I don't know. That, that, and then 10 cannons. There we go. There's our group of 30, and we'll send one of our best combat generals to lead that army. And this is going to be our first army that we're going to go ahead and move over. Uh, apparently, we ran into some random ships along the way. Oh, these are, um, this is actually my trade fleet that ran into something random. Yeah, because, I mean, there's some bits of France over here, so that's pretty legit. Uh, da, 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 da. We got that, we got that. It probably wouldn't kill me to go and invest in the idea. Are you really getting attrition over there? Are you good here? Supply limit 72 and co. Yeah, let's do that. Portuguese Australia doing some stuff. That's fine. Chocolate. <clears throat> Manpower recovery and national unrest is super handy. I do like like permanent mercantilism, which is amazing. But damn, that is... It's only five years. Nah, we'll grab the mercantilism. Money solves all problems, right? And mercantilism helps with money. Something like that. All right, the heavies are on their way. The heaviest plus transports. Um, can you park there? I'm technically there. It's not going to matter too much because you can't automate it. But yeah, we're going to start by moving you. I mean, maybe I want to start with one of the smaller ones. There's something about grabbing a bunch of territory. Well. land here. It's going to be okay. Probably. Maybe. I mean, it's jungle. It's only level one fourth, though, so it'll fall instantly. And then we'll get the defensive bonus. So it might pay off. Lose diplo power. Hurt relations with other Muslims. You know what? I'll take the diplo power hit. I don't know how much the relationship with other Muslim nations is going to matter, but... Sure. Trade efficiency. I mean, I might have wanted to keep going with some sort of... Uh, relationship, like, speed boost improving guy. But, this will be okay. So we'll land you, we'll get some more troops just moving over, and keep going to Bellum. Done. A little naval battle, that won't matter. Double check that there's not a huge stack there before we actually let the people drop. Um. Wait, I'm confused. What?
You were, wait. You were parked in the province with my dudes. Why did you go all the way over here without actually picking up the... So the dudes were thinking, oh, if I walk over here, it'll be a shorter naval va uh, uh, um, voyage, which is true. But then the ships left anyway? I mean, I, I could have just manually loaded them on and then gone and done... That was weird, though. That's got to be a bug. I can sort of see the logic that happened in-game to do it. See, and now you're fully attrition and everything. Which is probably fine. Ooh, a Rebel Uprising brewing in North Umbria. Well, we're not... I don't think we're doing any Rebel Busting over here, first of all. So, because we were moving some dudes around. So, let's get that going again. It's still a bit of an issue. So, I'm actually going to do some harsh treatment here. Give us some more absolutism as well. That's going to be okay. Keep you babysat. I mean, we could probably just crush it. We've got plenty of troops over here. But I think it's fine to convert military power into effectively admin power. Which is where we've got a higher demand for conquest and stuff right now. 67%. So we're still getting war score and the length of war mod modifier is going away over time. So the troops are actually on there now, right? Yep. Excellent. In fact, this one stack might just be able to do everything. It's hard to tell. Conversions are good. Let's do some more of that. Land faster. I mean, I could bring up the speed too, but... Uh, the 18th of May. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do uh, with these guys is I'm just going to tell them to park in Galicia so that they can go ahead and get themselves repaired. And I'm going to go and stack these guys over there. And then we'll move some more people over afterwards. So yeah, we'll just try to do a little bit of damage to their overseas stuff. Uh, Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Yeah, all right. Now, they might join a coalition against me, especially as I eat a bunch of France. We will see how that goes. But yeah, this is going to be fine and easy. And we can just keep marching over everything over here. Um, taking the forts is the most important part, because that gives the most war score. Although we might want some full war coverage. Um, all right, conversions again. What is this warning? Ports are being blockaded. Yeah, okay. I'm not worried. So these guys are still moving. Yeah, they took a fair beating. Be nice if we got the Azores. Won that siege, yeah. Um, so I'm going to get you to move over here right away. And what we're going to do is we're just going to land more troops in, in Bellum or these other places. Maybe do a little bit of carpet sieging. We shall see. And battle one. Done. You're repairing. I want to get you maybe at least one more month of repair kicks. Just to make sure nothing really weird happens. 72%. You're still not willing for this peace offer here. Oh! Oh, there is a fort over here. Hold on. That's why you're not that willing to go... No, there... I mean, there's this, but it doesn't cover it. Huh. I mean, we don't have anything occupied over here, but yeah, this fort might sort of vaguely be covering that. Okay, we may have to go and do that, especially since it's it's direct French category or um, um, territory. Oh, and then they're sieging some stuff over there. Of course they are. I think we will probably land some troops over there after all. Brunei declares war on Mamluks and its nationalism. So, one more tick of repair. Okay, that's going to be plenty. So, we're going to take this army. I'm going to explicitly split you in half. Wait, can you... You can just walk over there? All right. Good luck, have fun. I didn't realize we had all that access between all the warriors that have sort of participated in both sides. But actually be very convenient if something like that could happen. So we're gonna just try to drop you over here with the transport. Make sure this gets done. We're up to 73% war score. We could probably drop our forts, but that's okay. Uh, truce with Ethiopia. Um, so it's kind of interesting because what we could theoretically do is see... No, we can't. 
As I say, if we could take the capital and do other things before the Ottomans get in here, then what we could do is we could vassalize uh, Ethiopia and then get pulled into the war against the Ottomans, but I don't think that would work out in any way whatsoever. So, so much for that. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and invest in this idea. We're, we're getting a lot of admin power. It should be fine to go ahead and keep advancing this way. It's going to be okay. And again, technically I could grab the next one, but I'm not going to right now. Okay, bop you. We'll go and do that. I mean, they've got an army there. We could go look for Kebab. Oh, there's some French dudes. Let's do that. It's close enough. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, we can get some extra tariffs on fire. I guess we could have forced March to catch those, but that's okay. Dun, 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 dun. Take a long walk over here. That's done. No rebels have popped up, which is good. You guys are sieging some stuff here. You won't be able to siege. Um, we look weak, really? Really? Do we, though? That siege is done. Just do this, and then we'll move forward some more. Now, I probably could peace out with them if I didn't ask for the territory of Maduro over there. Um, in fact, it might even be possible for me to get up to... Um... Oh, yeah, the plus one merchant. That was handy. We want to keep that. I don't know who I lost. Uh, we got you... We don't have one here, but we don't need one, really. I'm assuming that, like, if the deal came to an end and we lost whatever merchant was there. We've got one here, which is sort of important, because we don't want to pull the trade to Tunis. We do actually have a merchant. I guess if the trade ends up going to Tunis, it's not even the end of the world. Because we are pulling most of it this way. I don't know. Um, most of it's going to the Gulf of Aden from here. Yeah, I actually don't know. I've got you. This is already mostly being pulled forward, although we could go and put someone there. I guess there's the idea of putting some merchants over here. Oh, wait, are all our merchants still deployed? I took the thing to give me plus one merchant, but maybe I still had it and it hadn't been pulled back, so it got it retained whatever it was. Or, and I know this heart is hard to believe, but it's possible I miss, might have misread something. As shocking as that might be to consider, it's possible I misread something in that pop-up. It's never happened before, but there's a first time for everything. So you guys are going to do that. I suppose we could have just dropped there to speed time. That's okay. Sure, Kilwa. You can walk through my territory. See, I'm just a bro. Done. We can get all the, the sugar we want now from Demerara. Uh, oh, you group up a little bit. Hold on. Let's make sure we're a little bit grouped up here. And actually, let's go and do this. We'll probably just happen to bop some stuff along the way. And that's going to be fine. And I'm going to send you back. Actually, no. Stay here and you can just dock to repair. That's going to be fine. Because we're going to want to take some, some, if not all, of these troops back home after this. There we go, we can probably do this. Yeah, of course, March, just make sure to catch the tiny stack over here. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Uh, on Force March. And then move down over here. Good! And you're just walking forward and catching some dudes here. 78% battle over there now. There was someone else that was moving a long way away. Not you. You. I'm going to let this keep going. Really, like, the longer the war goes at this point, the more we can likely get out of it. Well, 80%, and they might be willing to accept a 100% peace deal at this point. I suppose shipping some boats over might have made things better. Um, let's go and see if we're catching this. Grabbing um, coast stuff over here would be nice. But we probably mostly want to just eat a lot of mainland France. Plus maybe some stuff over here. Tell you what, you... Who is it? Who is the person that's moving? It's you. Stop. Force march. That makes a lot of sense. And then come over here. It's still going to take you a while. We should probably just move some ships. Uh, industrial urbanization. Nice. Da 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 da. Go in there. Do we have all the um, all the coal manufactories that we could? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know how much it matters at this point in the game. 
but it, would, it just feels good to have that complete. So you're gonna go back over there, and you got some ships over here. That got bopped. You're running to somewhere. We'll go ahead and finish the siege, then maybe a chase. There's territory over here, too, we might be able to get to. British Columbia. No, that's not British Columbia, it's over here! It's crazy. Um, Denmark. Ooh, they're at war with Great Britain and stuff. Alright, they're probably about to get consumed. Because Denmark's had a pretty hard go of it this game, if I recall correctly. Alright, you don't need a leader. Get in there. Bop those ships that are hanging out there for no reason. Okay. Build Spy Network. I believe we have enough to... We can support Rebels. What we want is... Um, so Discontent. We need 80% for that. Okay. They're still booting it over there. Which is fine. We've got all the forts over here. I don't know. We might do something. Suppose we could just decide not to do this one. I still kind of like the idea, but it doesn't actually matter, I suppose. I don't know. I want it, though. Yep, it's fine. You know what? We'll just kick up the speed to five. We'll try to grab that. Five's a little scary. Ooh. Hey, Ottomans. Let's, um... So discontent. Boom. We keep seeing if we can mess with you. Protection? Okay. Because I just want to do this before the end of the video. Which is already, you know, going to be probably slightly over where I want. Uh, that's our military tech. We do want it. I'm going to try to save a few points before I go. And hit that button. But we'll probably still be buying it ahead of time. Ottomans declare war on Bavaria. My god. Super mega Ottomans. Alright, we can turn off the force march. We'll do this. There'll be no more forts over here at all. Still a little confused why... I couldn't take it because I had stuff over here, but whatever. Do that and that. 96% war score. Okay, yeah, now you're willing to give that up. In fact, I could probably take everything over here, but I'd rather, I think, spend my war score somewhere else. This gives us a really solid foothold over here, and we can do future expansion stuff. Do we grab stuff over here? I don't know. We're going to grab that. I'll probably do this, as fun as it is to keep France, you know, split up. Um, we should probably just grab as much along the coast as possible. I like that. Um, and then complete some of these states. That looks like something we want. I think we have one province and a state over here. But is there something else? I think that and that will complete a state. Now, whether or not we state everything, I don't know. Do we take Paris? Yeah, we gotta take Paris. Uh, Avignon is part of the states over here, I think, so we can ignore that. We have a little bit of war score left. That includes, like, some cheap... Oh, yeah! This stuff is super cheap to take. Yes and yes. Um, apparently we could take that, but that would be slightly non-contiguous. That brings us to 100. I think I'm pleased with that. We don't have to break any relationships, do we? No, 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 no. Boom. Done. I didn't even look at what this is going to do to our over overextension, aggressive expansion, how much um, how much stuff we'll need. I didn't look at it at all. 143% uh, overextended. Okay! <laughs> this is what I get when I'm trying to, like, hurry just at the very end. I can't make you into a thing? Because you were covered in rebels! Hmm. Well. Hmm. Okay. All right, you guys move over there. You'll probably do some rebel busting when you get there. Um, we must be black flagged over here, aren't we? Doesn't show. Oh, that. No, maybe it just hasn't updated yet. Yeah, yeah, fine enough. All right, you're gonna get over here and be ready to take a boat. Possibly gonna go just land on those rebels, actually. French Brazil declares war on France for colonial independence. Well, well, well. 
And that's the other thing we could have done, is done a bunch of Agitate uh, for Liberty. Okay, that is a pretty substantial drop. I don't like the... Uh, I can't do it because we're overextended and everything, too. I don't like just being at zero. Yeah, this... I might have made a slight miscalculation. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, no. There we go. Bring us to exactly 30. We'll give you a good war leader. And we'll get you to drop... Here. Okay. Ferrara, they're at war with the Ottomans. Go, man, go. You can do it. Portugal is now considered a great power. Really? They're tiny. We have a looming disaster. Mm-hmm. Absolutism is at least 50. Less than 75. We could stop it if we had stability of 3. Huh. So, if our absolution was 75, it would go even faster. Coalition. Uh-oh. I may have chosen poorly here. <laughs> uh, I'm sure everything is totally fine. Uh-huh. Um, we'll do a lot of rebel stomping. I think we're going to have to. And, uh, yeah. We got some core... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the minimum suspicion saves. Like, are we only 53% overextended? No, we're 143. Um, rubble busting? Oh, God. A little bit of that. So if you rule with an iron fist by having high absolutism, you get revolutions. I mean, that makes sense, right? So many provinces lack court. Right, I still can't start that, unfortunately. Um, I don't think any provincial changes over here do anything. Well, we're going to put a cut in here. But uh, we're entering fun and exciting times, you guys. I hope you're ready for it. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>